Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we're back and working on this 24-inch uh, straight edge that we machined over on both the horizontal and vertical milling machines in a previous video. And uh, today, I, what we're going to do is go ahead and get it ground in. And um, I, as I had said earlier, the milling that we did on here was just more or less rough milling. I will comment that a, a viewer had asked, and, and I actually went over to the surface plate and checked the bottom surface coming off the horizontal milling machine. And I mean, I can feel my hand across here and tell it's, it's a little bit on the rough side. Uh, we weren't really going for finish. We were just trying to get material removed. Uh, but I was actually surprised running an indicator over this. It's flat to within about four thousandths. Uh, across that. Is that good enough for scraping? Yeah, you probably could do it, but it's, it's, it's a lot of work to remove fourth out. Uh, we're still going to go ahead and grind this, get this thing a lot flatter, hopefully get it more down in the range of a half a thou or less, and that will make the scraping job go much, much easier. It's a lot easier to remove material with a milling machine and a grinder than it is with a hand scraper. So uh, we're going to try to keep the hand scraping down to a minimum. So anyway, I've got my uh, 24 inch grinder here, uh, pretty much ready to go. First thing we're going to do is uh, dress our wheel. I've got a uh, Norton uh, stone in here, this four grinding cast iron. Uh, I've only been using this for a short period of time. Finally got the right stones after talking to some folks. And uh, I, these make a big, big difference in the finish that I'm getting off the, mill or off the, the surface grinder. So let's dress this stone out and uh, let's do a little surface grinding. I've got my cluster diamond in here. I'm just going to uh, come down here until we're touching off on this and we will um, just take a little bit off of it until we get it trued up. Take about a three thou. And we'll go to two thou. And then come back across on a one thou. We should have a nice true stone now our wheel rather, wipe our table down, and we will take our straight edge, we're going to start by grinding this top surface because that's what we're going to be using to chuck down on the magnetic plate with here when we do the bottom, so uh, I want to get that nice and flat and parallel to the bottom. It should be pretty parallel coming off the middle of the machine. But it's probably not perfect. We're going to make it near about perfect. All right, we'll come in here and touch off. Use my fine adjust knob over here to get down right on it. I'm just moving it real slow now. And we actually touched off right there. A pretty light pass, I think. Um, I'm going to start a little bit higher than that. Take my stroke here. Pretty much got it on a maximum stroke. And we're taking about a half a thou on the depth. Real light passes here. I'm taking my time. Trying to keep the heat out of this part. We're using a spray mist. That's going to help with the heat. Let's 
looks like we're pretty well cleaning up on this pass. Uh, after this, I'm probably just going to feed down maybe a couple of tents, and then we'll spark it out. All right, down feed. I'm just going to go down about a tent, and we'll cut back across there and go back a couple of passes and spark it out. I'm just going to kind of manually go across this a couple of times until I quit seeing any sparks anywhere. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Gonna take some uh, magnetic transfer blocks and just kind of put this behind this and on front. That just gives me a little bit more support. And we'll put one here in the front. Mag that down. That just kind of gives it a little bit of rigidity from rocking back and forth. Let's uh, raise our wheel up and we should be ready to touch off. Uh, grind this bottom. I'm gonna come down and touch off. I uh, saw a little spark there. Looks like it's just hitting the high spots there. A little heavier on the end. Maybe not quite as heavy on this front side as it is the back. I'm just fishing around here, making sure we're not gonna crash anywhere. I'm happy with that. Looks like it's a little, uh, heavier on the ends and in the center. That doesn't surprise me just because of the way we uh, did this on the milling machine. And uh, you can kind of see that stripe pattern in there maybe. And that's just from uh, the pattern left by the teeth on the mill. Shouldn't take but just a couple of thou to clean this up. Like we've got it all cleaned up for just one little area here where we've got a little deep on the on a cut and just one little spot. I think another probably half thou clean it up. I'm going to take a full thou and then we'll come back across and uh, spark it out. Feed just a little bit and spark it out. Yep, that got that little area right there. So uh, let me make it across this pass. We'll probably feed down a couple of tents and go over it a couple of passes until it uh, finishes sparking out. All 
right, I'm gonna feed down one tenth and we'll come back across. Can barely see some sparking going on here. Just getting a nice uniform cut all the way across, just barely taking a pass. That's what we want on this cleanup. And uh, after this pass, I'm just gonna go back and forth and back and forth without adjusting the head down until I quit seeing any sparks. This is the secret to getting a nice, really flat surface. You know, as we're cutting across this, our wheel's degrading. So when you get down to the end, you wanna make really, really light passes. If I get down here and I don't see any sparks at the end, I'll probably feed down another half or another 10,000th and uh, cut back across there until I see that uniformly. And then we'll just spark it out because you would you'd think it would be flat after just one pass, but there's little bitty areas in here. And we're talking, you know, millionths of an inch, but we're, we get everything down and get it nice and flat. That's what we're after. All right, we're getting out here to the edge and I am still seeing just a few little sparks in here, so we're still cutting, everything's good. And uh, we're just gonna go back and forth now. I'm just gonna take it off of automatic. I'm gonna leave the automatic uh, feed going left and right, but I'm gonna be manually just turning my hand wheel. And I'm just gonna go back and forth until I see it completely quit sparking out. When I go all the way across without seeing any sparks, I know we're good. And I'm still seeing a little bit of sparking on the end. not taking very much off at all, but it is still cutting a little bit. And it may take five or six passes across this before you quit seeing those uh, sparks. Come back across the other way now. Still seeing some sparks. They're getting lighter and lighter though. All right, I think we're gonna call it good. All right, we've dressed our wheel. I've got my straight edge sitting down in some V-blocks on some magnetic transfer V-blocks. Everything's nice and tight. I've got it set so that we're going straight flat across the top of this, but uh, it's sitting at 45 degrees. And we got it leaning this way so that this will clear, it won't hit anything. And uh, I'm gonna have to be kind of paying real close attention to what I'm doing to make sure we don't uh, crash our cutter because if we go too far, Obviously, we can get over into that ribbing, which we don't want to do. So let me uh, get down here, touch off. All right, so we touched off there. I backed off about a half a thou. Oh. We got a little bit of an angle on this. We're gonna have to grind it out, but uh, no big deal. Because this thing is uh, had a little bit of a taper and we need to get it all down flat, I'm just gonna manually do this in going back and forth. I don't have to wait for the table to take a full length when it's only cutting on about, right now we're about a third. I don't know, it's cleaning up almost to a half there, so probably after this pass, we will put it back on the full stroke. Try to get y'all a little bit better view where you can see what's going on. But it's, uh, it's cleaning up almost halfway across. That's not too bad. It didn't have as bad of a taper in it as I thought. But it's still gonna probably take us about five or six thou of down feed just to get it all cleaned up.
getting down here to the very bitter end and uh, I thought that flash there was going to clean it up but I'm still barely missing out there on the tip. We'll take another towel off and then um, clean it up but a um, little bit extra work there because of that taper that we got in there probably just over on the milling machine. I was clamping this down with some C clamps and uh, probably didn't get uh, really good C clamping. I was also using some uh, Chinese V blocks that probably aren't perfect either. So between those two factors, it didn't didn't quite mill as flat as I'd hoped it would. But uh, no biggie. We'll straighten it out here on the grinder. Or we are just about finished straightening it out here on the grinder. Um, Getting into short rows on this project. All right, we're going to do a one tenth down feed and come back across. And then I'm just going to go back and forth and back and forth so it's spark out. All right, we're just gonna spark out now. I'm just manually moving it back and forth. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I ended up uh, grinding the back side of this uh, piece. This is not a surface that's any kind of critical at all. It doesn't get scraped, but uh, I thought it'd look a lot better if I ground it. So uh, we're kind of down to those finished passes right now. I will comment that, you know, we're basically sitting on the dovetail, so it's on a point. So that I got these magnetic transfer blocks behind it, which is actually allowing me to bag to the bottom of this square to the to the bottom. So uh, those uh, mag transfer blocks probably aren't perfectly square, but they're pretty darn close. But again, this doesn't matter. It, it doesn't have to be dead nuts on square. You don't use that side of it uh, as a straight edge. It's just kind of a uh, needs to be cleaned up and want to make it look nice. So we'll finish this and uh, probably spark it in after this pass. And I think we'll be done with our grinding. And with that, I think we're done. And I got a 50 millionth indicator on here and uh, I can just tell by looking at the surface finish on this. In the center part, it looks really good. When it gets out on the ends, it's actually, the, the finish is a little bit wavy. Uh, and I think it just has to do with the wear in my surface grinder. Eventually, one of these days, I need to get the, the bed reground on that and really fix that machine up nice. But uh, all in all, I'm happy with the results. This is 24 inches, so, you know, we're basically keeping it within about a, half a thou, it's, it's, it's raising up about a half a thou on each end, uh, but all in all, 24 inches within a half a thousandth, uh, I'm happy with that. And uh, I think I can do some fine tuning to that surface grinder. Eventually I want to rebuild it and uh, hopefully get it where it will do a little bit better than that. Cause hey, we, we aim for perfection, even though half a thou is uh, pretty good. For far as the scraping projects goes, uh, this should scrape out fairly easily now. We've only really got about a half a thou uh, on the ends to get drop it down, and that should be able to do that in a couple of passes, and then uh, it'll, it should be blowing up real nice. So this will make a great 
project for an upcoming scraping class. And uh, we'll flip it over and um, hinge it. And I'm sure I haven't done this yet. It's going to hinge on the ends because we saw on the, um, actually it's hinging about where it should. On that end, on that end. Yeah. So anyway, it is what it is. It's going gonna, it's gonna to scrape out real nice. And uh, I'm happy with the results on that. Well, there we go, a straight edge, all ready to go get scraped in and a nice little fun little project. Uh, all in all, I did this over two different days, uh, but probably have about four hours of time in the milling and the grinding, and that's including shooting camera work and everything else. So not too terribly bad. Uh, I'm sure if I wasn't filming, I could do it a lot faster, but uh, as is usually the case when you got the cameras going and setting up shots, it just takes a little bit longer, but no big deal there. And uh, I may have another one of these. I got to get it done for that same class. Uh, uh, Richard only sent me one. I think there's two people that were wanting me to do this. So uh, I may be doing another one, but I'll do that one off camera. No reason to make another video on it. I'll also comment, I've been getting a lot of questions about my little nine inch straight edges that I'm gonna be selling as a project here. And uh, after <laughs> way too long, we are really, really close to start taking orders. In fact, this is one of the final castings. I'm real happy with how they've come out. Uh, my foundry guy is working on getting me some up to start shipping to some of our customers who have already pre-ordered on these. Uh, people who had sent me an email and told me they were interested, I have already started taking some pre-orders. But hopefully uh, be um, offering these up for anybody here pretty quickly. My price on them is gonna be $115 a piece. And uh, that is gonna be a shipped price. So that will include shipping in the US. Uh, shipping internationally or outside the US will be extra on shipping. But $115 a piece, uh, these things take a little bit of money to get the foundry to do them and so forth. But uh, anyway, that's gonna be the game plan. If you're interested in one and wanna go ahead and get on that uh, uh, pre-order list, you can send me an email and uh, I'll get you on there and we'll be do, probably doing a video completely machining one and scraping it and uh, having it ready here so that we can uh, start taking some orders on these pretty soon. Just thought I'd mention that real quick. And with that, that's going to be a wrap, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, comments are always appreciated. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.